After completing high school in Orange County, home of the ABGs, also known as the Asian Baby Girls, four-star wide receiver Tong Wa faced a tough college decision. Both of his parents were hardworking immigrants from China. His mom works at a nail salon and his dad does business in China. He was never the richest or most popular kid in school until he started playing football. Before playing football though, Wa was a loner. He stopped going at five foot nine. He couldn't afford to buy a girl's bubble tea and he loved molecular theory. Wa grew up in China learning Wushu at Shaolin Academy but left because he beat up an instructor. When the incident happened, he and his family fled to Orange County and he started to learn English. But because of this language barrier, he couldn't communicate with kids his age, so he often stuck to himself. His hands are taped from scars that were suffered learning Wushu, but this is all before he started playing football. Once he started playing football, the ABGs took notice. He started growing muscles. They started bringing him boba after football games. And before you know it, he started gaining attention from not only skin scouts across the nation, but people back in China. The WeChat stories and Xiaohongshu posts were all about Tong Hua as he is regarded as the best full Chinese football player we have ever seen. Hua wants to play football in college to become rich off of NIL deals so he can be the king of ABBs in OC. He wants to be a college partier and make up for all the experience he missed out on in high school. And so now we fast forward to National Signing Day. Almost every major school in the country was after Hua. We're talking Ohio State, Michigan, Texas, Bama, Tennessee. They all offered Hua. But all of these schools offered him a scholarship for Arrow space engineering because they want him off the bench of their football team. My priorities for college was very straightforward. I wanted to make NIL money, party, and stay near the ABGs. So I decided to commit to USC. This seems like the best decision for me as I get to stay close to home, make some cool NILs off of Chinese restaurants in Cali, and buy more bubble tea. But also learning from a guy like Zachariah Branch get balls thrown at me from a guy like Miller Moss, and also getting a chance to start on the roster was exciting. We start out as the wide receiver five on the depth chart and the number 25 ranked team in the nation. I really didn't care much about any of that until I met head coach Lincoln Riley. He sits me down in his office, it's my first time meeting him, and he tells me that I need to work on my route running if I wanna play on this team. The wide receivers I'm chasing on the depth chart all have loads of experience and speed, so as the 5'9 speedster, deep threat receiver, myself, I don't really stand out. My new offensive coordinator, Jalen Swole, also reached out. He kind of looks like he likes kids, I'm not gonna lie. I gave him a polite answer on the phone. You know, I want to make a good first impression. My Chinese mom raised me to be a polite math boy. But now comes our first practice in a USC uniform, and I can't lie, I am nervous. It's my first time seeing my teammates on the football field, and as the only Asian kid on the team, I feel like I had a point to prove. I needed to gain the respect of this locker room fast, as I feel like being the only Chinese kid on the team sets me back from the rest immediately. People will have their own preconceived notion about who I am as a person. They'll think I'm still that aerospace engineering kid unless I show up and show out. First play of practice. I'm getting locked up initially. Ah, 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 he's staying with me, but I break out of it and I make the nice catch over the middle for a nice game. Second play of practice and they're already doubling me like I'm Calvin Johnson. But I run it out and in and I get Six. Great start to practice so far. Third play of practice right here. They're in a zone coverage. I stutter. Ah, running out. Right to the sideline. Nice little toe drag for another good game. Fourth play. We are deep in the red zone here. I got to display my route running. I cut in. Cut out. Oh, oh, I am getting absolutely locked up by this defender. And he gets the pick. And after a great start to practice, I start getting absolutely chained up by these DBs right here. This USC defense is no joke. I get locked up in my first practice to end. This is not a good start. I'm also terrible at this game. After the first week of school, I came back to check my online student dashboard, and I'm at a 3.0 GPA! My mom will whoop my ass with the slippers, so you already know I'm studying. If football doesn't work out, I still gotta be able to work at SpaceX. But you also know I gotta build my brand up. I'm trying to get more NIL money. I need to leverage the fact that I am a Chinese wide receiver at USC as a four-star high school player. The bubble tees won't be bought by themselves, ladies and gentlemen. We got to market ourselves. Week two comes along and Zachariah Branch has reached out to me. Hey, wah. I wanted to earn his respect, so I hit him back, letting him know that I'm coming for you, thinking that he would respect me more. And I lost his respect. He left me on red. 
Yeah, this is not a good start to college life. We have our second practice at USC. Gotta bounce back from that first practice. It was an absolute embarrassment. We are hopping onto the wide receiver battle drill. It's one-on-one -on, -one on an island. Mono e mono. Only got time for one move and go. You already know we are going for that deep ball. Here we go. I only get eight reps in this practice. I gotta make every rep count. Ah, I get off the line. He is on my hip. We are hand fighting. I'm looking to go deep. Miller Mon throws it up I make the catch but I miss the zone second rep right here we're still battling me and this DB are absolutely fighting I run a nice little comeback for the first catch of practice third rep here we're battling oh I beat him clean off the line I raised my hand up I'm looking for the deep ball Miller Moss lets it fly toe drag Swag. That catch right there gave me a lot of confidence as I started gaining more separation throughout practice, making this beautiful catch along the sideline. It is the last rep of practice. I gotta show coach that I can suit up for his services against LSU. I'm running deep on the DB. I make the catch once again, but I miss the zone. This was a much better practice for Tong Wah as I feel like I really showed my deep threat abilities in this practice. But was my practice good enough to get snaps against LSU? Number 13 versus number 15 to start off the year and here come the Trojans. LSU is known as DBU as they have one of the best ranked secondaries in the nation. It is a common field game to start the year off and we are benched for the entire first quarter. LSU is up 17 to 13 here as my teammate Deuce Robinson catches the first touchdown for the wide receiver group. This was my first time getting benched as a football player since I was a freshman in high school. I thought I would be okay with it as my main focus coming into USC wasn't really to play football but I was not used to standing on the sidelines with my helmet off and watching my teammates. With about 149 left in the game, needing a touchdown to win, I was dying to see the field. This could have been my chance to get national exposure and let the world know who Tong Wa is. But all of a sudden, my receiver room starts going nuts. They drive all the way down the field, but Miller Moss throws an interception. No. Our defense manages to force a punt though. And we have the ball back. Oh my god! 55 yard touchdown for Kyron Hudson. But then LSU responds with a touchdown. Where is the defense? Cade Fox is in the game. Our backup QB Miller Moss got benched. What the hell is going on? For the one. Oh my god! Kyron Hudson! 66 yard touchdown! Walk off touchdown! What the hell was that game, man? I am ecstatic for my team. But I'm low-key salty that I wasn't involved in that game at all. Zero highlights, not even a single snap that I played. Hudson, obviously the player of the game. Two game-saving touchdowns. But he is also the wide receiver for on the team. The guy that I'm trying to beat out. The USC completes the upset in week one against LSU. And now we move on to week two of the college football year. USC moves up to the number 121 ranked team in the nation after that insane win versus LSU. Senior Lake McCree wants to bitch me by asking me to drive him around. The only people fitting in this Toyota are the five former Vietnamese ABGs with long eyelashes and no personality. I am standing up to Lake McCree. I got better stuff to do. The seniors so far are not liking me at all. Teammates don't respect me as much, but I am hard-headed and I'm going to stand up for myself. Now we got my academic advisor coming through being all nosy. Listen, man, I've had the best grades my whole life. I was an honor roll student that got offered full rides from Harvard. I don't need no damn academic advisor. The only academic advisor I've ever had is my mom and her ruler that she used to slap me on the wrist with. 4.0 is the minimum that I need at USC. My mom will literally disown me if it's anything less than that, and I know that. Before we go to practice, I get my first NIO offer. Chefs. I love chefs. Well, I chefs. Buy your favorite sporting goods from chefs today. Anyways, back to practice. Coach Riley calls for the pass skeleton drill, and this drill is all about getting money. And as a deep threat wide receiver, this drill suits me well, as longer receptions are my bread and butter. Gotta get my route running and hands better, though, so we'll see how we fare. First rep right here. Coach has me running the deep post. I am running deep. I got two on me. I still call for the ball. I run it a bit flat, and it gets deflected. Second play of practice here. Every rep matters. Oh my god, I lose the DB. Where is he going? Third rep, coach calls for me to run a Fade, not really my bread and butter as a 5'9 receiver. I still call for it regardless, but my teammate steals my catch. What is Lake McCree doing? Get the ball advanced anyways, I guess, but what the hell is he doing, man? But I am running my favorite route in my route tree, the sluggo. Slant and go. Oh my god, they have me doubled, 
And I don't run a good route there. Six rep here, still in the red zone. Ah, come back. Nice, secure hands for the touchdown. Seventh rep of practice right here. DBs are playing off because they know I have a lot of speed, so I'm just taking what they give me. Eighth play right here. Coach assigns me to a comeback. DBs mirror that comeback route to perfection, but I improvise and I catch for six. Last play of practice right here. Coach calls another sluggo for me, but I decide to abandon the sluggo and go straight for the slant to cash in my third touchdown of practice. An okay practice for us. We do score three touchdowns, but I'm still making freshmen mistakes first home game of our career oh my god i can see the abgs in the crowd i am nervous as the trojan crowd is loud and proud they are filling up the coliseum making deafening noise but once again i am on the bench for the entirety of the game i am absolutely embarrassed my gpa is a 3.0 i'm spending less time at the library more time on the football field and it is simply not paying off we beat utah state 23 to 14 and my chinese parents are are not happy. They didn't see their son on the TV for two weeks in a row. They feel like they have raised a disappointment. Week three was a bye week, but I didn't go back to OC because my parents would beat the living crap out of me if I went home. And we also had a practice, so we need to kill. Today, Lincoln's focus was on running after the catch. What we can do with the ball in our hands. And as a 5'9 wide receiver, this has to be our calling card. We need to be special with the ball. First rep of practice here. I'm in motion. I get the ball. I get a great block from my receiver right here. Ooh! Skates! Had that boy lost in the saw second rep right here another great block oh my god get in the spin machine spinorama spinorami no way we chose a white db to match up with me in this drill that is just complete disrespect oh never mind he got me fourth rep of practice right here i catch the wide receiver screen Ooh, i break off the tackle stay strong on my feet an amazing practice so far i see the white db again i go for the truck but he got me i thought i could out muscle him on that rep but this is the last rep right here of practice i hit the spin move one time and i hit a spin move again and he misses the tackle, and I finish practice strong. Is the spin move Tongwa signature move? I don't know, but we end off our best practice in a USC uniform. Coaches like what they saw, and we're coming for that wide receiver four spot. After coming home from practice, I spent the rest of my bye week studying. I have no girls on my phone, no game to attend to, so I just spent the entire week preparing for my exam in five weeks. My guy Bear Alexander reaches out to me and educates me on the game of NIL deals. I kind of feel like this guy's like Jay-Z. He's like giving me financial advice right now. I like this guy. He low-key the only vet that likes me. So I tell him I'll hit him up if I have any questions, even though I already got an NIL deal. Like, God damn, my academic advisor starts bothering me again. This Karen needs to get off my phone, man. I'm already getting bothered by my mom to study every day. I don't need her in my ear but this is our last practice before we face off against defending national champions Michigan. Our first practice after the bye week. We're looking to shake off a little bit of rust. Oh, where are you going? Make a nice secure catch in the zone. Second rep right here. Outside, inside, another touchdown. Improvising all my routes for sure. I fake the crosser. I go the other way and I get blasted by the DB here. USC defenders are getting physical with me right here, man. This is not good. I get abused all practice by the seniors. And this was another rough practice for me. I dropped a lot of balls, took a lot of hits. Not looking Looking good for Tongwa at USC so far. But we head into our week four game at Michigan in Ann Arbor. A big game against the reigning national champions. Will Tongwa finally get an opportunity to play? It is another national televised game. This time it's on Fox with Joel Klatt and Gus Johnson. And we are playing one of the best defenses in college football, led with two of the best defensive players in the nation in Will Johnson and Mason Graham. But at halftime, it is 21 to 10. The offense and defense are both struggling. I thought I would get a look off of this week after my remarkable bye week practice, but no. Once again, we do not see the field and number 12 USC gets blown out at the big house 37 to 17. This is easily one of the toughest stretches of my career. We got spazzed on by a guy with the name Orgy and I'm just really starting to get uneasy with the fact that I don't get to play football. After that abysmal offensive performance however, coach has decided to give me a look in practice with the one. Coach Lincoln Riley is looking for answers on offense so he gives me a chance to battle for the wide receiver four spot against K Hudson. I got to do everything I can against this guy because remember, he put up that amazing performance in week one against LSU. The coaching staff clearly have more faith in him compared to the Chinese wide receiver. Before practice, I get a text from my academic advisor that I got a 
B plus on my exam? See, this is why Karen Jones is a tweaker. In our culture, she's celebrating this bum ass B plus. B in my culture means be ready for no dinner. My mom was extremely disappointed with this grade. My dad didn't pick up the phone with me. Coach Irish also texts me and says I need to stay in practice extra this morning. And boosts me up telling me that I've made it clear that I should be a starting wideout. This is my opportunity to get some playing time with the team. But Delaney hits me up and says there's a party at Zeta Firo with Alpha Delta Kappa. Oh my god, this is my chance to go get me some ABG. This is my chance to add some Snapchats. This is my chance to get some company in the Toyota. So you all already know I'm skipping my lab. I'm trying to go to EDC with 75 different Asian girls with balayage curls in their hair. I need to gain connection. This is my chance to rise up the depth chart right here. It's me versus Hudson 1v1. Coach Riley sets up the wide receiver route tree drill. I gotta prove to him what he told me since he recruited me. That I have been working diligently on my route running. So here comes the biggest moment of Tong Wah's college career. Other than the party at Zeta Phi Rho X Alpha Delta Cap here we go. First route right here. We're going for the deep post inside. A little wonky. We hit some barriers right there. And we get a late ball out of Miller Moss. What is that? Second rep. This time we're going for the outside post. A better route right there. Miller Moss, get the ball out. What are you doing? It's late. You donkey. Third route. Can Miller Moss throw the ball into the Pacific Ocean? Finally, he makes a good throw. And we make a toe drag swag catch. Fifth route right here. I fake inside for no reason but i go back outside make the tony toe tap again wait no it's tong toe tap three reps remaining right here i'm supposed to run it in i go the wrong way but i turn backwards and i make the catch once again what the hell am i doing two routes left i have a deep out right there this is my crispiest route i break outside for the tong toe tap last rep can we end it off with a bang and we run an incredibly unnecessary stutter coach riley doesn't know what the hell is going on but it's a beautiful post route once again and we win the first position battle challenge second challenge is the rack attack this is where we need to thrive however we start out struggling to get in the end zone here first three reps were absolute duds so i needed to show something special to end off this positional battle challenge right here oh my god turtle i meant to say hurdle but tong wa is in the building two reps left come get off me spin move you want another one Airwa is cleared for takeoff. Last rep of practice right here. First guy. Oh, come get a hezzy. Oh my god. Do you want another one? White DB. Oh, we got him playing Twister. And Tongwa has officially won the wide receiver battle. He has moved up to the wide receiver four spot for you. SC. As we head into our week five game against number 22 ranked Wisconsin. Could this be Tong Wah's debut at USC? My family stopped watching my games because I didn't start early in the season, but the ABGs are watching. There are about six Korean chicks that I met at Alpha Delta Kappa that are tuned in right now. I can't disappoint. And midway through the second, Lincoln Riley calls out Wow. First play of Tongwa's college career. Coach Riley has me running straight to the sideline. Three seconds left on the play clock. I go right there. I call for it. I go down. I'm scared. You know what? At least I caught the ball. Now with 115 left in the second quarter, Coach has me running the crosser route right there. I get a step on this linebacker and I make the snag. What a catch right there to put us on the doorstep. So close to scoring six, but that's the first first down of Tongwa's career. Coach takes me out of red zone duties. And weirdly enough, that is the last snap that Tong Wa gets in the game. USC is down by four, going into the last drive of the game in the fourth quarter. Branch puts us up back with 32 seconds left, and USC wins in Tong Wa's debut. The Chinese wide receiver played in a college football game. Yes, he only had 21 yards in his debut, but what a catch over the middle. I'm sending that one out on Snapchat and Instagram stories over the next week. Two catches for 21 in our debut. We we are just getting our feet wet at USC. We are getting more comfortable in an SC jersey as we shake off the safety for six in practice. But we're building more chemistry with Miller Moss before our week six game in Minnesota. Number 15 USC are coming into Minnesota to beat a tough Gophers team. Will I get more than two snaps this game? Hopefully. But it is late in the second quarter. We are inserted in the game once again. I am assigned on a quick curl. It is a rainy night in Minnesota, we have to make sure we don't drop the ball. Ah, 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 
Get down immediately. I'm not making no fumble. One fumble can cost me my spot on the team. Now it is 44 seconds left. I'm running this crosser, but I'm the decoy rally. I was not willing to risk any yards after the catch at all, especially in the rain. And that is it. USC wins once again, but Tongwa only gets two snaps. Lincoln Riley is simply not giving the Chinese wide receiver a chance right now, and it is incredibly frustrating. We have enrolled at USC, attended a frat party, gotten two NIL deals, but we have only seen four snaps on the field. Tong Wah is getting incredibly frustrated over playing time, but next week he'll have a chance to compete for the starting slot wide receiver spot. Will he get more playing time as the season goes on as USC looks to clinch a college football playoff spot?